Sunday is World Autism Day, and there's a place in Cherokee County where children with autism find a safe space. Gravier Denson, the Atlanta News First Surprise Squad, visit Barefoot Ranch. The Atlanta News First Surprise Squad is sponsored by United Community Bank, Beaver Toyota of Cumming, and Van Sant Law Accident Attorneys. All right. Okay, here. Switch, switch the rope in here. It's been said the outside of a horse is good for the inside of a man. Or in this case, a child. So good? Because we don't need these. There's something about the horses that helps the children to calm their own emotions. This is an ancient tarpon. You won't find these except in uh, wildlife preserves and zoos. 12 years ago, Dareth Russell and two friends started Barefoot Ranch as a rescue for horses, like 11-year-old Atlas. Atlas is 11 years old. The Clydesdale on the right is Hickory, and he's two and very mischievous. Come here, baby. Come here. Back, back, good boy. He came to us in pretty good condition, at least physically. Um, mentally, he was pretty checked out. We couldn't pick his feet up. Um, he didn't really want anybody to touch him. English. There you go. A lot like the children Barefoot Ranch now serves. He's losing so much hair. Because it's getting warm out, isn't it? Often they have behavioral issues. It's not just autism, sometimes it's ADD, ADHD and we watched them progress over weeks. We had one child who he would come in with headphones because he couldn't handle the noise and the distraction. He had a very hard time focusing. Uh, the first time he came in the barn, he got really upset and he just, you know, was just unconsolable. By the third time, we actually had him coming in, petting the horse. Fast forward up, 10 weeks later, he's riding by himself. He made it! He made it! One more, okay, Gabe? Okay. Volunteers and donations keep the ranch. I love watching the joy on these kids who can't get a break sometimes. Going to adjust your stirrups. People do come and help us, which I'm very grateful for, because if it wasn't for our blessings and the good Lord above, we wouldn't survive. On this day, the blessing came in the form of the Atlanta News First Surprise Squad. How about a check for $2,000? Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is gonna go directly to our team. God bless you. I know you'll put it to wonderful use and thank you again for everything that you do. Oh my God, thank it's you amazing. so much, sir. Thank you so much so on behalf of my children and our staff, thank you so much. Being involved with uh, children with special needs is very near and dear to our hearts as well. So when we heard about your organization, we just wanted to help out. So God, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Sir. Thank You're you. so, can I just hug you? Absolutely. I'm a hugger. I am so grateful. I'm so grateful. Because when we said we would do Special Olympics, we didn't have funding for it. But I'm a, I believe in walking in faith. So I just took that step forward that we're going to make it happen. And I do that a lot. So today it worked. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my God. Faith, so hope, sweet. and love. The greatest of which is love. Evident in a gentle giant, once lost, now thriving. He is kind of like the story of the farm, isn't it? He is. He is the story of Barefoot he is. Ranch. He is. Because generosity, love, and kindness can go a long way. For the Atlanta News for Surprise Squad. Stop the three socks. Tell him, good boy. I'm Gervier Dinsa. Barefoot Ranch, they are always looking for donations. We put a link on our website, atlantanewsfirst.com. Also, if you know someone doing good things in our community, send us an email to surprise squad at atlantanewsfirst.com.